And welcome back to Let's Play Grand Quest Builders 2. Alright, so last time we got the second half of the Ocarina of Time, and now we're gonna head back and see what we can do with them. That is not where my home base is. That's where my home base is. Hey, Goldie Rocks! So yeah, we found both pieces of the flute. I feel like the flute was an object or like an item in Dragon Quest 2, but like I said before, Dragon Quest 2 is the one Dragon Quest I know the least about. I guess that in 10. Also, yeah, why couldn't they just like completely destroy it so that it couldn't be used anymore? Alright, so we need to fix the flute in order to find some gold. Fortunately, it shouldn't be too hard to fix a flute. Like I said, a bit of glue and that thing will be back to normal. Okay, before we build that though, last time I was at the temple I did loot the place for a bunch of porticoluses. Porticai? I'm actually gonna put... That was a weird hiccup. I'm actually gonna try using some of these in my like town design. So, for example, what if I put it like right here? Right here. Actually, how big is this thing? It is... One, two, three... Okay, it's quite big. Hold on, I need to clear a bit more space. But yeah, I just love the idea of a giant gate between the areas. Okay, uh... Hmm. Hold on. Actually, you know what? I think that looks fine. Well, actually, no. One more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually open up the area a bit more here. Hold on. Oh, I... Hold on, I need to break this. Not that. I want to break the block right above the door. There. Eh... I think that looks okay. Maybe I should put some more stairs down looking at it. Oh, is it morning already? It's morning already. Also, I broke the door again. Whoops. There we go. We're under attack, but who cares? Alright, so now we have basically a gate between uh, the main bar and the silver bar area. Actually, I can do something else here. Uh, where are my stairs? It's going to take a little bit more work for it to make it look really nice, but for now, I think this is kind of a cool looking thing. The low ceiling actually does kind of get in the way a bit, but that's fine. Alright, so we have a passage between the areas now with a gate. Is something broken? I so it sounds like something broke. Hold on. Oh no! They've destroyed the barrier. Okay, hold on. This, this comes before everything else. Give me a second. We can't have this hole here. Uh, where's my umber? Or whatever I was using. I think I was using umber here. Alright, we need to fix this. We cannot let the light in. You know, maybe it's a good thing vampires aren't real. I think I'm literally creating the perfect vampire town. Also, I think the wall was supposed to go... Hold on. Here? Oh, I can't believe they actually broke through the wall. Those monsters. Okay, there we go. Uh, mostly back to normal. One second. How do I get back in again? Here. Is this still a room or do I have to do some more repairs? Oh, they also broke the wall of the dormitory. Okay. Did I fix all the holes? I should have, right? Okay, there we go. So this is a dormitory now. This should be a relaxation room. And this is the toilet. Okay. Oh, I can't believe they actually broke down the wall there. That... Hmm. I'm just gonna double reinforce this wall so they don't do that again. Oh, I also need to eat. Okay, so we have, at least have two layers now. 
I'm guessing something explosive came in that broke down the wall, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Anyways, let's fix up that flute, shall we? Well, we got ourselves a new tool. We can now toot to find a route to treasure and loot. Until I said that out loud, I didn't realize that rhymed. I guess it kind of fits that it rhymes now. Okay, but yeah, basically this will let us find hidden items around the area. This definitely sounds like an item that would be from Dragon Quest 2, but like I said, I'm not really sure. So, did we learn anything from that? Okay, so we need to head down deep and see if we can use the Echo Flute to find some gold. Oh my god, that's a lot of hearts. Oh, please stop pooping hearts at me. I need to go collect all the hearts real quick. Oh, yeah, we kind of want to make sure we don't get turned to stone by Medusa. Sorry, Mad Medusa. Alright, but now that we have this, we can probably find some gold down super deep. Which I think we're going to do now. Unless you have a new mission for me. Alright, so tunnel south of the lift. And yeah, we'll warp there in a second. And we got some more turf and turf. I want to say surf and turf, but I know that's wrong. In this game, at least. Malroth, don't, don't worry about it, okay? You're the only one for me. Alright, so let's go find some gold. Uh, before we go down, though... I'm just going to grab all the hearts real quick. Let's get our flute out. Is there anything else I need to do around town before I go down? Not really. We could continue working on the silver bar, but I think I'm going to wait before doing that. I'm going to wait until I get gold before I do that. Alright, let's go. So let's find the closest warp point, which is... So the old lift is down here, and basically she said that the gold's somewhere in this area, south of the lift. So let's go see if we can find anything over there. Okay. Yep. Looks like it's in this direction. Oh, is it right here? No, it's not. It's Oh, it's through this wall here. Hold on. Is there another way over there? There might be another way over there. Or I could just do this. No, not that. Okay. Where are you? Oh, I do have some wrecking balls I can use to get through the sand at least. It is... Okay, we need to keep going in this direction. Where are my wrecking balls? Oh, that didn't go very far. Yeah, these Wrecking Balls aren't very good against breaking anything that isn't sand. Okay, uh, ooh, Bomb Crags. We're gonna want to be careful here. Alright, so are we still going in the same direction, or do we have to make a turn at any point? Yeah, it's still in that direction, let's go. So, yeah, half of these are going to be bomb cracks all explode and try to kill me. So let's try to not touch them if we can help it. Oh, somewhere nearby. Hold on. Hold on a second. I think it might be... I think it's still in this direction. Yeah, it's still in this direction. Okay. But we're close. We're getting really close. Hold on a second. 
Oh, found it, found it. Oh god, that's a lot of gold. Well, we found the gold. Also, we found a heal slime. That is... Yeah, that's actually a lot of gold down here. Oh my god. I was gonna say, how did we miss this? But I guess it's like hidden super deep into the walls. So we could have never found it without the echo flute. Alright, so let's head back... Oh yeah, let's head back and bring back a couple of... uh gold pieces for the blacksmith. Also, let's go check out with, or let's go check in with this slime. Hi, Healy. Alright, check, uh, let's see, northeast near the big lift. A more gold near the mushroom cavern, okay. Alright, so northeast near the lift and then in the near the mushroom cavern. Also, we get some rock bomb shards, we can make some better bombs. Well, I'm gonna go kill some uh bomb or some I'm gonna go kill some bombs then. Hold on a second. Oh also before we leave this area, let me actually grab some gold before I forget. He wanted, what, three nuggets of gold? Yay! Oh, I also learned how to make gold ingot. Pretty simple, same as every single other ingot. Alright, so I'm gonna go find the other two gold spots in a second. I wanna grab the gold while I'm here first, though, for the actual mission that we need to do. It was three, or was it five? You know what, I'm gonna grab five just to be safe. Okay, that should be more than enough. Alright, so we want to head now back to the lift area. Because it's apparently... No actually, it's northeast of here. So I'm guessing somewhere around here? So I guess we'll go check out that area. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to warp here. And then we're going to go check out the, like, the mushroom cave area. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot. I'm gonna go beat up some bog and crags too to get their uh, shards so we can make better explosives. Although my hammer is probably good enough at this point, I do want to make sure I get some bombs. Alright, wake up. Oh, you're- okay, no, you are just a uh, bomb crag. Some of these are active though, so we want to be careful. Like this one, this one's active! Move, move, move! Move, move, move! Okay, it didn't explode. Okay, now it's going to explode. Please move. Oh, hey, I learned a new recipe. Now is not the time for this game. I learned how to make a normal wrecking ball. Eh, uh, resting wrecking ball I don't care about. I want the normal ones because they actually blow up rocks. Hold on a second. Yeah, a bunch of these are active. And they are extremely hostile. Also, if we don't kill them and then we let them explode, we don't get any uh, fragments from them. So I think I'm going to try to DPS them down before they start blowing themselves up. Like, that one's about to. No, Ralph, please help, please help. Oh god, we're not going to make it in time. Oh! Ow! I completely whiffed that. Ow. Oh, one minute. Okay. Let's try to get a couple more fragments, I guess. Hmm. Where are the other bomb? I know there's another bomb crack. Oh, there's a bomb crack right up here. Alright. Oh, there are two up here. Alright, Malroth, I'm gonna need your help. Let's kill this thing before it explodes. Like, oh god, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. You know what? I'm just gonna take the hit. Just keep attacking. Hold on. No, we're not gonna kill it in time. Darn it. 
I know there's a better way of killing them. I forget if the hammer does more damage, actually. It might. Hold on. Oh, wait, no, duh, the hammer does do more damage. For some reason, I thought these were, like, normal enemies. I'm an idiot. Well, whatever, we got we got our shards. That's all I really wanted. Sorry, rock bomb shards. I can't... I always forget they renamed, like, all the Dragon Quest monsters. Like, several years ago. I'm just so used to, like, their original name from, the, like, the 90s. Okay. Well, anyways, I got all the rock bomb shards I needed. Let's, uh, head back real quick. I'm gonna go make myself some bombs. Fifteen should be enough for now. Alright, let's go back in. So we are looking near the lift, and we are looking near the mushroom cave. This is the mushroom room, right? Well, you know what? Since we have a warp, like, right there, we might as well use it. Okay. So, where, which direction are we blasting? We are blasting over down here, it looks like? Oh, it's on the other side of this wall, isn't it? Okay, back up. Oh, found it. Yeah, it's literally right here. The game won't actually count until we actually enter the room, though. There we go. Alright, so we found our second gold vein. There's one more we need to find. Somewhere near the lift, apparently. So we'll head over there next. Uh, how do I get out? It's this way, right? Yeah, this is the way out. I see the uh, blue water. Alright, so they're gonna mine that for gold, so I don't really need to do anything about it. Let's head back to the lift area now. So he said somewhere near the old lift. Alright, flute. Tell me which direction to go. That way. Oh, did we find it already? No, we just found another tunnel. It's probably on the other side of this wall, actually. I'm just gonna continue blasting until I find it. Oh, yeah, it's literally right here, isn't it? I see the gold. There it is! Found you! Alright, well, we got ourselves a good supply of gold coming in now. So that should be the last medal we need, I'm guessing, because he did mention that you only need to be a gold golem to, be de to defeat Medusa. Alright, time to head back now. I'm gonna put these away before I blow up my town. I don't trust myself to keep explosives on hand. I tend to accidentally hit the place object button a lot, and... We don't want that, so let's just head back. Alright, so we got our gold now. Uh, where is... there he is. Good news! We found a lot of gold. Alright, so now that we've gotten the gold, what else do we need to do around here? So, oh, I guess we do need to wait for all the gold to get up here so we can give it to Goldilocks. And yeah, it looks like it's time to finally work on leveling up the base again. Alright, so... Actually, we're really close to leveling up already. 
Yeah, we're really close. Probably another day or two and we have enough. Alright, so what do you two want, though? Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to do something about that. Alright, so we want to make a new dorm near the silver bar. Inside, eight beds and a trio of pots. Got it. Oh, we also need to make it super fancy, too. Seriously? Alright, so three-star fancy uh, dormitory. Golden Frazier, silver blocks. Yeah, we have all the materials now. We can make a really fancy room. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we'll make that next. Whoops. Hmm. The only problem is we're kind of stuck on space with the dome and all, but... You know what? I'll figure out a way to make, like, a nice, compact, yet fancy room. We already have a shower room, buddy. Yeah, we have... We already did the surge. Oh, we need light sources, I think. And lots of connecting windows. Well, okay. Alright, so you want to uh, make a shower room with no privacy. Got it. Alright, so I think the only thing we need for that are the light sources and the windows. One minute. I can do this. So, let's see. Let's get some light sources real quick. Uh, I guess, like, braziers will do for now. We only need two of them. I guess lanterns could have also worked. And then we need connecting windows, which, can I make those yet? Yeah, I can. Alright, fine. You know what? If you want windows in your shower room, you'll get windows in your shower room. Also, yeah, we need to actually start working on the bar again. We kind of got a bit distracted to get gold, but yeah, we're going to need to actually finish the silver bar at some point. The only thing is, I don't think they've given us the recipe for light boxes yet. So we can't finish it quite yet. We might be able to after we level up. Alright, so let's see here. You want windows, you got windows, buddy. Alright, and then we need light sources. Uh, well, it's a shower, so I guess torch <laughs> torches would be the best, like, light source while you're showering. There we go. Listen, it's okay. If it if the fire gets out of control, just take a shower and it'll go out. Alright, Serge, I made your weird peeping shower room. No, seriously, give me, yeah, give me the answer. Sure, that's why. Mm-hmm. Sure, it's not that you just want to peep on the miners or anything. It's fine. Alright, well, we have a, uh, upgraded shower now. Oh, I also have enough happiness to raise my level immediately. But we're not going to do that quite yet, because I do want to build the dormitories next. Okay, so dormitories. I kind of like the open space here, so I want to keep it, like, I kind of want to keep it as small as possible. Alright, so we need to make a fancy dormitory. Hmm. So we, what, how many beds do we need again? Eight? Hold on, let me, uh, get the details again. Inside, eight beds and a trio of pots. And yeah, walls out of silver brick and gold braziers to raise the fanciness. Now here's the thing. I don't... Hmm. There has to be a way to make this, like, not take up too much space. Also, yeah, you know what? Hold on a second. I'm just gonna get a little bit of progress done here. Is this entire back wall nothing but iron blocks? Yeah, this back wall is nothing but iron blocks. One minute. Actually, you know what? I have an idea of what we can do with the dormitory. The only question is, will the game let me do it? Like, what does the game consider the limit for a room? Because I'm thinking, if we can't build, like, a wide room, what if we build, like, a super tall room? Yep, yep, give me the coal. Thank you. 
Also, oh my god, that was 1,800 blocks of gold already. I think we might have power game the uh, beginning part of the gold arc. Also, if I level up, I think we'll have the materials, or we'll have the recipes to make the rest of the uh, stuff we need for the silver bar. Honestly, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to level up. You know what? I think this is the plan. I think I'm gonna level up, get all the new recipes we can, because they might actually help out with the dormitories too, to make it like nice and fancy. And then after that, we'll build the dormitory. But I think we'll do that next time. Because, yeah, I have a plan for the dormitory, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work. We'll see. So, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're going to get to level 3. Or is it level 4? I think we get to, we're going to get to level 4. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it right now. Also, I'm going to admit, it actually looks kind of almost nice from the outside. Like... It doesn't look terrible from the outside. Also, it sounds like there's a huge traffic thing outside. That's fine. But yep, we uh, got ourselves some new miners now. Alright, what did I learn? Anything good? We learned... Okay, these aren't going to really help that much. Ooh, Contail costume. Wait, can I wear this? Hold on a second. Oh, also we got a dance board. Perfect. Okay, I was kind of hoping we'd get some more recipes, but that works. Yeah, don't... Don't worry about that, Magrog. We'll, uh... We'll deal with those once it becomes important. Also, yeah, now everyone can build. Perfect. Alright, so let's go say hello to the new people who managed to make their way down here. Oh, we even found some bunny girls, too. Where do you people come from, anyways? Yeah, yeah, children of Argon don't like it. Everyone says the same thing. Listen, at this point, just accept it and get in here. Also, yeah, I don't know what is going on outside. Oh, right, Goldie. I keep forgetting you guys can actually see through walls. Oh. Oh, well, we got another bartender, too. Oh, that's actually perfect. We do need more bartenders from the new bar we're building. Alright, so we got three more miners, a bunch of bartenders, and a troop of dancing girls. Bit of a more diverse group of people this time, but you know what? I'm not complaining. Helps uh, break up the place a bit. But yeah, I think the dorm tours are now kind of needed. <laughs> Aw, Dan likes us now. I think he's always liked us, though. But yeah, talent's really bustling now. Now we really need to get the uh, silver bar completed. Because I think that's the only thing holding us back. So yeah, I think we'll wrap things up here. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're going to build ourselves that new dormitory we need, and then we're going to work on the bar. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Do I have the recipe for light blocks yet? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Not yet. Alright, we'll build as much as we can, though. Also, you know what? Because I have it, I've got to see if I can wear this. Hold on a second. We unlock these. I'm going to use them right away. Get this out, and get this out. Perfect. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Is this a Hold on a second. Does that actually have better defense? No, it doesn't. Darn. But, what I can do is... Oh, I don't have the bunny ears yet, though. You know what? That works. Perfect. Alright, ladies, watch out. New dancing girl is in town. 
Alright, so next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2, we're gonna begin construction on the second dormitory. So, till then. <laughs>